Hi everyone. I'm now playing my Gabe deck against uh, NBN in the Fear and Loading Octagon League. This is a game against uh, someone with an ELO of 1600. So <laughs> it's definitely going to put my Gabe deck to the de to the test. He starts with a solid opening. Uh, install, install credit. I run to a wraparound. Stop cold. And uh, but he lets me through R and D, and I see a pop up window. Uh, pretty decent first first turn because I get desperado credits, and I draw into a knight, which was definitely something I wanted to see. I can now get into uh HQ. I decided to run into the pop up window and pay. Uh, taking advantage of running Rickless while I still can in case that's an Ichi or a Grim. So he lets me through again. So I'm definitely thinking it's either a program treasure on the, the likes of Ichi and Grim or a uh, toe booth because he doesn't have enough credits to rest that. So I finish off by installing the knight to threaten HQ. He wisely ices up HQ and is up to 9 credits. So I get the corroder ready and with the knight on the table I'm not so worried about um, Call. Yes, I'm not so worried about power shutdown. I prepare HQ and instead of continuing to ice up, he decides to score the Astro script, which is a smart move because then my um, HQ runs will mean nothing. Uh, because yeah, you, he doesn't want me to score the Astro script. Seeing him, see him on 3 credits, I decided to run R&D. And he scores another Astro. Ouch! I really should have ran HQ over there. Now he's down to 1 credit, which means that I can continue running R&D for free. I'm ensuring the R&D lock so that he doesn't get any more agendas pumping out. I can only hope that he doesn't have a third Astro script in hand. That would be really ugly. Very, very ugly. And also because he has he's so long credits, there's no point in me using a com siphon. I'm now up to a healthy stack of credits, but having 4 points out plus an Astro script token, I'm not comfortable at all. So this turn I need to continue locking down R&D. Oh, it was a Viper. I'm not sure why he never rested this entire time, but well, now it's kicking in and as a result I lose a click and I decided to end the run. Uh, looking back, maybe I should have paid because I've just brought it out, so it essentially only costs 2 to get through. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, I forgot. Yes, I'm against NBN. He pumps the trace. I can't get through. Then I install bank job and get my 8 credits. So now I have a lot of money to play with, but I need to get those agendas, deny him the, those agendas ASAP. Finally, I decided to run HQ. I figured that there was nothing left in HQ since he, he stopped popping agendas out. I could be wrong. He shows me the Bernice Mai. Trace 7. I beat the trace. So that I didn't, I didn't have to pay the trash cost for trashing Bernice Mai. Nor did I have to pay the click and 2 credits to um, remove the tag. And as a reward, I got character assassination. Then I perform an account siphon. And I only managed to siphon two credits, uh, four credits, which were all gone when I removed the tags. But I had no choice there. I needed to keep him low on credits so that, um, yeah, I needed to keep him low on credits so that I could, so that he couldn't fast advance anything with Sen Sen. I continued hitting his hand because R&D is locked for me now. I guess I could hop the knight over, but mm, I was saving that for next turn since I just drew up the maker's eye. Alright, he begins mass drawing. And I think, yes, at this point he has 6 cards, which means that he must have drawn a lot of agendas. Um, yeah, he didn't get a chance to trash a lot of his cards, so I assume there were lots of agendas inside. So I kept hitting his hand, hitting it hard for only 2 credits to break, and gaining 1 in return. It was a no-brainer for me. I find a bill. Great. So now I hop over to R&D and make the Maker's Eye run. 
on my fourth click so I didn't have to pay the extra the extra subroutine for Viper and I didn't see any agendas that was a huge pity so I could only hope that the build that I scored was the only agenda that he drew up looks like it was so thankfully for that but now he's up to 9 credits which is extremely dangerous um, I need to trash the Sen Sen which I assume is the unrest card on the board so I draw into another maker's eye which is very tempting but well, I'll need to wait a few turns for that. Oh, I didn't trash the sand sand. Mm, I'm not sure if I saw that card already, but... I'm not sure why I did that. Alright. Anyway, he defends R&D. And I've had enough, so I'm going through with my Nicker's Eye. Breaking Draco. Clicking through pop-up window and hopefully seeing three agendas or at least two to close the game. TGTPT, Sensen, and close accounts. Yeah, not the card I want to see. Um, I need to get rid of that tag. He's on seven credits, so I know he cannot score uh Astro Script out of hand with Sensen. But Yes, R&D is getting knocked down pretty heavily. Um, I run his Sensen finally. And it goes off. That's why Armitage is good. It gives me the burst credits just when I needed it. Although I really should have done it earlier. Mm, he gains a lot of credits. And I assume that's another Sensen. So I'm thinking of how to get up to 5 credits quickly. Well, not that difficult. Uh, I, made, I made a little mistake there. Uh, I should have ran on my second click because Desperado would give me a, the extra credit I needed to break his um, Sensen. He scores his third Astro script. My goodness, very lucky. He, three Astro scripts all floating on the top of his deck and I didn't manage to snipe any of them. So now I'm in huge trouble and he scores the breaking news and wins the game. Nothing much I could do there. That was very bad luck on my part. I think um, I played it as decently as I could. There were a couple of decisions which I should have done better on. For one, I, sh I could have held the account siphon for later. And most importantly, I should have hit his hand hard. Come down on him so hard. Punish him for having only two wraparounds protecting his hand. That was the biggest mistake of my game and that was the reason why he managed to score so many astro scripts but well you live and learn and i certainly learned a hard lesson that day thanks for watching